greatest Sonic game. It's honestly one of my favorites. Hello, Professor. I hope that this isn't too overly loud because... Oh yeah, if you hear the screeching of the damned in the background, that that is the Sega Dreamcast reading a disc. <laughs> oh, I might as well my old PS2. PS2? That might have been a problem for you. <laughs> um, also, I'm looking to see how the coloration and everything looks on this, because this is, um, the Dreamcast Sonic Adventure. And, Professor, shoot your question, let me just say that I'm using VGA cables for the Dreamcast, because for those that don't know, the Dreamcast never got component cables, but it did get VGA output built in with it. Which doesn't really future-proof the Dreamcast, but it does at the same time. But, uh, Professor, what is your question? And if the game is too loud, please tell me, because I will lower it, because Sonic Adventure is very, very much. Probably check the audio. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this is overbearingly loud because it's Sonic Adventure. And Sonic Adventure and Sonic games in general are overly loud for some odd reason. I'm already going to get copyright for this, so I don't really care. <laughs> oh, copyright is the worst. Yeah. Uh, how do you beat the final boss in Rechain of Memories? Um, what I did was Lethal Flame, Lethal, fr Lethal Frame, over and over again. He can't stop Lethal Frame. Like, it will stop him. It is broken. And how does everything sound? Select it sounds good. Alright, so we will choose my VMU. Select a file. Anything I think maybe game audio might be a bit too high. I wouldn't be surprised about that. As you uh, you say. It's a tad load as we're frame say. Alright, I lowered it a bit. Honestly the colors look pretty good for a Dreamcast that normally only outputs in 480i. So, we will choose file one on VMU1. Uh, thing about Sonic Adventure as a pair compared to Sonic Adventure DX, uh, Sonic Adventure doesn't really have uh, the mission mode that the other one had. Uh, it had internet options uh, for DLC for the Chow Garden, but that's about it. So, we'll go to Adventure. Select a character. Oh my god, you can see all their goddamn polygons! <laughs> I haven't seen this old uh, Dreamcast version for a long last time. I love the Dreamcast version because of all the Let's textures it has, honestly. But the models aren't the best. I mean, it's outputting at 480p, so that's pretty good. Speaking of which, I will do that. <laughs> I, after. Get I will do. I will change that after we are. Well, I don't think I have to. Uh, I see the polygons moving. <laughs> oh yeah, this is happening. And those cops who still don't know how to goddamn drive. What's up? <laughs> I could be playing Sonic Mania right now, but no, I'm playing the old 1999-98 game.
which had futuristic water technology. Because <laughs> the Saturn sure as hell couldn't do water. I felt bad for the Dreamcast. It was like in a rough spot between like between the PS2 and the PS1 eras of like models, it was like, it was just in an awkward in between of the two of them. It stopped halfway through the evolution process. This could be fun! Well, this came out earlier because they wanted to beat the PS2 to the market. But, and I mean, the Dreamcast was really good. I love a lot of the games that are on the Sega Dreamcast. But, it doesn't have much going for it. Really, the, only the first party titles are what stand out. I mean, look at this realistic water and this realistic rain. Oh, yeah, realism. There, killed chaos. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Get you in the brain. Of course. Or as I like to call it, the fuck me light. <laughs> I know. I just love how exposed it is. Oh yeah, that's right. I just remembered a weird quirk that the Dreamcast version of Adventure actually does. Come on, you big drip. Where are you going? It carries your rings over from stage to stage. Nothing, fool! It's chaos! God, why does it say in a kid with black eyes? <laughs> Alright, he had green. I, see, I don't pay attention to that. I keep forgetting it was the adventure model that gave him the green eyes. <laughs> that shows how much I don't care about that. Like the green eyes. Yeah, I, I don't mind them. Color that gives to his character. Huh? What? Tails? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! That facial expression looks better on the Dreamcast than it does in the original, Tails. in the yeah, uh, DX I version, do? I will admit. DX version. The GameCube version. Fun fact, if you stay underwater long enough, you will drown. You should not have to hear the drowning you should not have to hear the drowning music inside of Sonic Adventure, but it is possible to hear it. It is one uh level where it make it would make. Well, I mean for big. Yeah. But that's about it. The drowning itself. I feel like maybe we should... I need to test and see what other games are supported for the uh, VGA cables on the Dreamcast. Because most games were VGA supported for the Dreamcast. Surprisingly enough, Skies of Arcadia Legends is one of the few games that isn't. The game is forever doomed to 480i. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? No. Okay, I died in Emerald Coast. That hasn't happened in years. <laughs> to be fair, it's not even like you messed up. Yeah, I kind of flipped through. It's nice to see the glitches were not attended to in the GameCube version. Well, the GameCube version has its own mess of problems. Because it's a 30 frame per second game that they're forcing to run at 60. 
Because this version is 30 frames per uh, second. And the GameCube version runs at 60, which brings on a whole mess of glitches all of its own. Wanted to get that life back. It's also been like. How long has it been since I last played Sonic Adventure? Like two years now? I think it is. Stream it at all before? Um. Not. I was at one point doing the Dreamcast version for Game Anyone back when I was doing stuff on Game Anyone, but that's about it. Oh, I, would, I wouldn't remember that then. Like, I remember I was doing the Dreamcast version for Game Anyone when I was doing the redo of Sonic Adventure 1 for the... Um... Uh, when I was doing the redo while I was doing Shadow the Hedgehog at the same time. Okay. Oh god! A homing attack failed me on that one. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> I normally don't have this much problems on Emerald Coast. I need to get another Dreamcast controller because, like, I want to do two-player stuff on the Dreamcast. I wish I had the, I wish I had the fishing peripheral so that I could use that for big section. <laughs> Jump on panel number one. It will take you. the reason why Big was put in the game in the first place. Exactly. I want to use it. Die coconuts. Missions uh, at least somewhat redeemable. I forget, can I control Sonic with the D-pad? No, that is camera. I think a camera should be controlled with a D-pad. It is an apescape. Which... Did Apescape 1 come out the year that Sonic Adventure did? So it's time for a little Googling. Yeah, it sounds like it's time for some Google food. Oh, come on. I am r literally th two rings short of a life. All right, let's go to Tails, who's in a coma. Yes. Okay, I, I will admit, though, the, the backgrounds look stunning in VGA. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> like... They look more detailed and more fleshed out for color-wise than the models do, which kind of throws me off. I'm not going to lie. It was released in 1999, and oh Sonic Adventure was released in 1998. Well, I mean in the United States. In the United States, it's 1999. Yeah, so yeah, I am right. This game... What happened anyway? This game has better models in this game, oh my god. That was a test for the new oh. It's got a few bugs in the air now. <laughs> Why not just use my plane? Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Thanks, but you gotta check I never correlated it. This Nick Avenger is the Mass Effect Andromeda of the older generations, I guess. I wouldn't okay, say Mass Effect and Andromeda, because that was just more laziness. Yep. This was technological stuff that they didn't really, like, have a hang on yet. And you're gonna have like no excuse. Mass Effect 3 looks better. That is true. You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the mystic room. The fastest way by train. Let's go. And now we can play with Tails. 
Sonic Mania is indeed so good. I have played it. I own it on the Switch. Who knows? Maybe if we finish Sonic Store... Nah, we're probably going to stick with the Dreamcast tonight because I don't want to have to hook up the Switch, too. You kind of want to get it, and I'm not normally into 2D Sonic games. Personally, I... I love both. I'm better at 3D than 2D, but I grew up with 2D. 2D too, but I was just so crap at it. <laughs> I cannot get past Green Hill Zone. That makes me feel a lot better because I, I couldn't, I just couldn't beat the games when I was a kid. But I think the, I think the farthest I got to in Sonic 2 as a kid was Metropolis Zone, and the farthest I got in Sonic. Farthest I got in Sonic 1 had to have been Scrap Brain. Uh, Sonic 2 was Metropolis. The and... The farthest in Sonic 3, honestly, Marble Gardens, which wasn't that far. Is the third stage in the second Sonic game again? Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Sonic the Hedgehog 2's third stage is Aquatic Ruins. I think I may have got that far, possibly, in the... Look at all these textures that aren't inside the DX port of the game for some odd reason! Wow, the backgrounds look very vibrant. Like, look at the backgrounds compared to Sonic's blue and the colors on him, this lush green. Yeah, yeah, actually, this is a lot better coloring than... This is better coloring than the DX port, and for some odd reason, this is better coloring than the actual in-game models. What is with VGA? Do I have it plugged in wrong or something? Or No, if I had it plugged in wrong, I'd have, like, a weird yellow hint, uh, tint going off, I guess. Slightly green. <laughs> Nah, if it was green, then I'd definitely notice it in this area. Alright, time for Dean Bristow. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg! Silence! I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest- My Dreamcast is having a goddamn in fit the in the background. Whatever you say, Eggman! Enough! I've got big plans! And now, I'm gonna put them to work! You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds! Better not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! I noticed a dead pixel in the background. Where is it? Where? Was it only for that scene? Nope, there they are! Plain sight, dead pixels. Alright, I'm gonna cheese this boss. As you should. First things first though, I wanna get a life. Come on, all systems full power. I want to cheese you. All systems full power. He's not going to get away with this. Dang it, I stopped hitting it. Well, keep trying it, Sonic 1. I mean, I, I'm... Nowadays, there's versions of Sonic 1 with the save feature. So, I mean, if you just save scum, you can just... You can do it fine. All systems full power. issue with all the games. It was... You have to restart from the beginning. Uh, not with Sonic 3. Other than that, that's what I loved about that game. Sonic 3, hey, Sonic 3, and Knuckles, time. uh, had a save feature. And it's... Switch, really. It also ended up, uh, transferring over into Sonic Mania with how when you get a game over, you start at the first act of the zone. Okay, Dreamcast, stop having a fit. I don't get what's with you in cutscenes. <laughs> it's too much effort. 
Well, that wasn't so hard. Wrong sound effect play. Oh no! The dead pixels. Wait, no, that's not a dead pixel. That's supposed to be a burn. Come on, chaos. Time to eat. <laughs> it just does this. Chaos. But uh, just. Yeah, it's a bird in moving. Like th that's supposed to be a bird or a butterfly because it's moving. Oh no! Isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Oh, Sonic Three did. No, Sonic Three has the same feature, doesn't it? Oh yes! It's just Maybe I've just been playing Sonic Three and Knuckles too much. Can you check? Please, please, Sonic. I could check. Every time I feed him a chaos emerald. So chaos is He'll be invincible and work for me. Together. Will destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos, let's find another emerald, shall we? Sonic! We can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails! Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform. So, it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Okay, it's Sonic and Knuck. Okay, yeah, because I'm like, Sonic 3 has a save feature. I'm pretty certain it does. Wait, why doesn't Sonic and... Well, I know why Sonic and Knuckles doesn't have it. Because that was pretty much an expansion pack. Anything in town then, I guess. Okay, camera, camera, camera. The key is floating. I will be right back, Windy Valley. I want to go and get an emblem. I think actually inside this version of the game, the internet just would give you... I wouldn't say Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 are the same because they have completely different zones. Whoa. You've got all the emblems before, haven't you? What do you mean? In this game, you know the little emblems scared about the world. I've done it in the DX version. Um, I've never done it in the Dreamcast version. Dreamcast version, I believe, at Dreamcast, the DX version adds, I think, 30 emblems from the base, uh, 150 that are inside of the, uh, Dreamcast version. It's more because I play the DX version more than I play the Dreamcast version of the game. If that makes sense. That makes sense. Because it is like the no. more recent and accessible version, I guess. It's the one that's ported over, unfortunately. <laughs> and I died. Well, and it just clipped through the side of it. No, I just didn't make it. <laughs> Metal Sonic was added into DX. Sonic was in DX? Metal Sonic. Uh, wow. If you end up getting all the emblems in Sonic Adventure DX, uh, you end up getting... Uh, Sonic's model gets swapped out for Metal Sonic. Never knew that. Oh man, I wanted the life. Take me, Tornado! Okay, this is, this is making the Dreamcast have a fit in the background right now. Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. No surprise, that tornado must have been pretty hard to do. No, it's it's more the disc. I think my disc is a bit scratched. 
Because this, these are those old consoles to where if your disc is scratched even slightly, it's going to throw out the biggest fit of a, your life. I don't think you're familiar with that. Emblems are just for completionists in this version, I believe. And it's like extra collectibles. Yeah. Which is fine. I don't... I don't hate that. But well, I just... A reason to explore, on it? Yeah. Well, some emblems are on the... Overworld. Some emblems aren't. Legends of a, the same mission, don't you? If you keep going back to them. It's a different mission each time. Oh, that texture popping. That was beautiful. Guys, give me those lives. I'm gonna need them, apparently. If this game has anything to say, Mario, then yes, you would. I'm just glad the game doesn't reset your lives after you end up, uh, after you end up, turning it off. yeah, turning it off. Something, something that for some odd reason Sonic gets, but Mario still doesn't. Well, didn't. It doesn't 3D land. And I think 3D world as well, because lives count. No, I don't think it. Pretty well, I I could be wrong. Certain, one of the guys, I believe they, uh, count it, say it every time. I know they did for 64, they did for Sunshine, they did for Galaxy. Sonic, what are you doing? Sonic, is this how we die? This is how we die. <laughs> Oh, Sonic Dead little Wedding. Holy shit, how did that work? <laughs> oh my god, I'm I'm having so much fun with this. I'm Oh my god. Was this a good choice? <laughs> yes, this was this was indeed a good choice. Fourth chaos symbol you get is yellow. Yeah, not bad. No. Ah, oh, wait. Sad. Wait, is it? Oh my god, is it? Because if it is, then they, they, this joke just writes itself. Um, let me think. We've already seen one, two. Stream has finally been gone announced. Yeah. Did it get announced in the Discord just now? The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Um, Teen Shade, uh, we're making a damn fourth Chaos Emerald joke, and I'm, I don't think the yellow one's the fourth one. I hope to God it's not, because otherwise that joke was, ugh, oh, oh God. Speaking of Shadow the Hedgehog, you did that two years ago, so. Yep, that means you... Sonic Adventure was two years ago. God, it's been two years! 